All right, it's January, it's a new year, you know what that means, I gotta talk about the Canon M50. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name's Tyler and welcome to the channel. And my channel is about consumer technology and video production. And today, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not the Canon M50 is still a good choice in 2022. We have a new year, we've had all kinds of new cameras get announced and released. So can I still recommend the Canon M50 when there's so many other options? And the short answer is, Yes and no. So this really comes down to what you need out of a camera. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you need 4K and 4K autofocus, the Canon M50 is not a good choice for you. The autofocus of 4K is trash. It's just, I love Canon, I have a Canon C100, I got my first camera, a Canon D3i, I wanna get my next camera to be a Canon camera, but the 4K autofocus on this camera is trash. But even in manual 4K, if you just set this up and you'll get some manual shots, you do have to deal with a crop. And that's just not great having to work with the lens crop. But if you're shooting in 1080p, it's gonna work just fine. This has dual pixel autofocus, which works extremely well. It's just such a shame they couldn't get to work for 4K, but you know, they have other cameras they gotta rationalize selling. There's also some slow-mo options here that they're not the best in the world, but it gives you the option to shoot a little bit of slow-mo if you want to. But the 1080p is so reliable, it looks really good, and honestly, you could probably upscale it to 4K and not a ton of people would even notice. Um, I've done that with this camera before, but I think I've actually done it a few times for the M50 too. And unless you really know what you're looking for, you might not even notice if you have good enough lighting and your ISO is set low and there's not a lot of gain and stuff shown in the image. There are a couple things on here that do have limitations. Um, number one, you have a micro HDMI port, which eh, it's not great. And this, the first generation of the Canon M50 does not have clean HDMI output. Now the second generation does, if you want to use it for like a webcam or live streaming. And the thing is the second genera generation, the second generation of the M50 is only like 50 bucks more than what this camera is, at least last time I checked. And I'll link them down in the description below if you want to check them out on Amazon. Really the only difference, major difference between the M50 and the M50 Mark II, in my opinion, was a firmware update. They really didn't <laughs> improve much else on the camera. So if you really don't care about clean HDMI out, you can just stick with the original Canon M50. But there is a mic jack, there's a hot shoe, and my setup that I usually go with for the Canon M50 is this Ulanzi mount, which I've made a video on before. And then I just put that on here. There's a Ulanzi light as well that I keep on, on this uh, mount. And then I take this Rode Video Micro, plug it in, and you're good to go. And I use this for my to-go, on-the-go setup, especially when I'm recording my homesteading videos. So one of my favorite things about the M50 is just how small this camera is. Now this is my G7X and I haven't used it in a long time. Yeah, the battery's dead on it. But with the lens can actually sticking out, it's not much smaller than the Canon M50. And the G7X only has a flip up screen while the Canon M50 has a flip out screen, which is so much better than a flip up screen. It is so reliable and so compact. The colors are great coming out of it. Dual pixel autofocus, mic jack, the battery life is decent. It's not the best battery life I've ever used in a camera at all, but it's definitely not the worst. But the batteries are pretty cheap and they're small. So you can buy a few, stick them in your pocket or stick them in your bag, and then just swap them out whenever you're done with them. So who is this video for? And who is this camera for? Well, if you're established on any type of platform already, chances are you already have a camera that can either, or you have this camera that can either do better than this camera or it's this camera and you know, you're really not even looking at this. But this is really for people who are either new to YouTube, new to taking stills, being into photography, you know, somebody who just wants to dabble in a little bit of video and not necessarily upload it to YouTube. This is just a great all around camera that takes really good stills, takes really good video, and it's not that expensive compared to other options out there. So throughout this video, you should have seen some stills or some video footage that I've taken, either new footage or some footage I've shown in previous videos. And you can just see how good it is. And I think this is a perfectly fine camera to run a YouTube channel off of in 2022, especially starting out. You don't have to go and spend two grand on a camera when you don't even know if you're gonna be committed to this thing if you're gonna start a YouTube channel. And if you already have some Canon lenses lying around that are EF mounts, or EFS, 
you can get an adapter. I have a video about that. I use a calm light adapter. I just take this lens off, put the adapter on, and then I can use my Sigma lens, my 18 to 35 Sigma lens, or some of the other Canon lenses, lenses that I have. It works perfectly fine. I can't say enough good things about this camera just because it is such a staple in the lineup of Canon cameras. It's so reliable, and there's a reason why so many people have used it over the years, because it's a really good camera. But that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if it helped you make the decision down in the comment section below on what camera you guys are using for your channels or for your video projects or your photography projects. And make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Tyler Miller TV on both platforms. And make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. That way you're notified whenever new videos go live. And so that's it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.